Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. It's skipping loafer time. Spoiler warning. Skip and loafer. Holy shit. All right. It has been a long ass time since I have felt such affection for an anime. Like genuine, wholesome greatness like i that's like wholesome and great like it is just those two words that are truly defined what this anime is today's episode i'm gonna just talk about skip and loafer and very shittily summarize the entire season but just stick with me i hope you understand mitsumi is our main character she is awesome she is kind-hearted she is a kindred spirit from the down, no, the up north fucking country pumpkin right there. And then she's in Tokyo to become some cool ass politician, whatever. Who cares about that? It's about the fucking high school development and the love story. It is so good. First, so Mitsumi, Mitsumi excuse me, is our main character. But then she runs into, coincidentally, our homeboy, Shima, the main protagonist our guy uh dude yes um if you can't tell this is just a wholesome love anime but also comedy i guess a rom-com in a way but i don't know i guess yes um mitsumi ends up falling for shima but that doesn't matter because we have just this great assortment of cast members that just truly find what friendship really should mean you know what true homies are like and like that is just great. I love that content. These three friends are who Mitsumi makes uh, throughout the season. And I'm, I'm just going to go down list by list to just define who they are as a character. So first off, Mika. You were supposed to hate her. Like, holy shit. She, all right. So first idea you get from her right off the bat. She's a bitch. All right. But then later on in episode four fucking oh my god i need to look it up but then in episode five you just learn who mika is as a character and why she is that way and you're just in awe you're just like wow that makes so much sense no wonder why she hates these people i would too and so then like there was just a huge character development in one episode and i have never seen that so well done in my life like i have seen hundreds of animes but like none has done it so well like honestly as well as skip and loafer episode five yuzuki is uh the hot blonde hair girl of course you know you need it you need the hot character but of course she's just a regular ass girl like her looks does not define who she is and i love those characters and then we learn that in like one of the most wholesome episodes fucking episode Three, I believe it was. Never mind. Episode two. Um, Mitsumi and the gang, they go to a karaoke bar. Of course, that's Japanese. High school. Yay. Anyways, Mitsumi just sings a child nursery rhyme. And then Yuzuki learns this it's like, oh wait, yeah, you don't I don't need to create a persona. Like I could just be who I want to be. It's like there's no need to be like this character because Mitsumi just showed that you don't need to be a certain way around everybody, like around these groups of people. And I just love that. And then in episode three, we meet Makochi, who is, of course, we meet the shy girl, glasses, slunched. But then we also learn that she is just like everyone else it's like everyone has insecurities and i love that i love seeing characters with their insecurities and then coming out of their shell to overcome them that is wholesome as shit but an episode i really want to talk about though is episode nine this one was really it was really special in a certain way episode nine opens up with just a very quiet scene just looking off into the cities of Tokyo, 
And then we just jumped to Mitsumi going back home. Just like up north to her like countryside home where she grew up. Where she meets her best friend Fumi again and her family. There's something about going home when you've just had one of the craziest semesters in your life. And you're just like, wow, I am in some way completely new. And I thought I was going to die. And then you learn that you managed to survive this one crazy semester and meet so many new people. And then you just get to go home and relax. Like something, something about that just really hits home to me. I was like, I have experienced something like that myself. Like first, ooh, my first year in college, I was exactly like her. I was in a new lifestyle a new people new environment and then you just see all these crazy shit happen to you in one semester experience it all and then winter breaks rolls around and then you're just home sitting like you don't need to worry about anything you don't worry about school you're done with exams and you just get to relax Skip and Loafer is very special. Um, of course, this season was not long enough. All my brain is just asking for is more. And yes, there was more character development between Mitsumi and Shima. Like, they will definitely get together. I pray to God they will. I need to read the manga. But just like the story itself was so nice. So wholesome. So fulfilling like i was a hungry boy now i'm a fat man <laughs> but yeah i feel like that's all i need to say about this show highly recommend it like literally a 10 out of 10 i love this show and i think everyone else should give this a watch too oh by the way um i know this was like the shittiest explanation and summary of this anime but just just, just trust me on this one it, it's good all right Anyways, it's been Yuji. Thanks for watching.